Yeah, hey everybody, welcome, welcome to the show. Uh, I'm Dr. Pat, just in case you, you may not know, and I'm here with a couple of sidekicks, Benny and Olivia today. Um, Benny, yes. when you play that, that opener, and so oh. we've had to replace the opener I've been using because I can't find the email where the uh, Coldplay gave me permission to play that song, because why? Uh, that was 17 years ago. Well, maybe maybe 15 for that. Mm -hmm. But here's the interesting thing. I'm listening to that opener and I'm ref I'm reflecting upon the past and I'm reflecting upon the people, uh, Nick Johnson, um, that helped create this network. This network was created um, with a group of people that were passionate about it, at least I'd say three quarters of the people that worked with me early on were interns um, from the Institute here in Seattle. And I loved all of their energy. It was so fascinating to me. I knew that they would be here for a short period of time. And I hired most of them that wanted to stay here. And everyone from Nick Johnson to, we were just talking about Heather this morning who trained Jessica. Heather trained Jessica. And so here we are today as a reflection of our past and the foundational pieces that become who we are. And that's part of our conversation today with Pam Bright and David. You know, it is about looking at what I call the foundational elements of who we are. Some of them, uh, the soul wants us to grow and move forward with. And some of them, it's like, dude, you got to get rid of that resentment. But today, I want to introduce you to two people, David Buck and Pam Wright. Pam Wright, you should know about. They're the host of, or Pam is leading host and David is the founding innovator, joint sidekick, partner, <laughs> rising <laughs> element, because it takes a partnership. Mm. And so today I want to introduce you to the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright and talk about what it's like to step into a journey, to, to take that step. I'm struck by this today on the heels of Ellen's announcement mm. that the 19th season will be her last. Mm -hmm. I'm really struck by this today for a lot of reasons. And you're going to have Pam talk about this because when you step forward in a way that the public or the, the pop culture or some group of people may not understand, it comes with building resilience. Pam is a mm. multidimensional healer, a life transformation coach, a spiritual intuitive, multitude of modalities. And as you can see, if you're watching on Facebook right now, you're gonna see that there is an energetic, energetic catalytic form between them, the world and what they do. Mm. Today, whether you, you tap into the inspiration Pam did you know, through the Native American medicine wheel, or you think about the beauty and transformative effect of a butterfly. Mm. It doesn't matter. Today's show is to introduce you to people that are stepping forward and saying yes. Mm. And I am struck by what happened with Ellen. I'm struck by what happens when you step out into the world boldly like Pam and David and you run into what we call success. And what is the resilience you need to have? And I will say, Ellen didn't see it coming. Mm. And my heart goes out to her. And I'm so glad she is doing a 19th season and maybe she will reconsider mm. because she is a shining light, just like Pam and David. Welcome to both of you. Great to have you here today. Thank you. Thank for you. Thank you. So glad to be here. You know, um, I was struck by the the announcement that Ellen made. And um, was I surprised? Uh, I don't think so. 
Um, but yet at some level, the fact that she's willing to do another season after four months of just brutal, brutal, brutal um, press, negative press, I wonder about all of us. And I want to ask mm. you both, you don't come here with your platform and what you're doing in the world without having to face things. Mm. But sometimes we partner up with somebody that makes the journey a little bit easier. What was it between you two and when you connected and how you connected that is helping you rise up in the world today, Pam? Yeah. Well, David is my rock. That's what I can tell you. David is my rock and he is the one that really helps me to stay grounded in mm. this lifetime. Mm. Uh, when I, through multiple traumas in my life, um, from childhood to adulthood, um, I've had many falls, many accidents, had near death experience, which really and that David was a part of. Mm -hmm. um, when I came back from that, I really needed someone who was strong and who he was that was a pillar of strength for me to be able to come back into this human form. And that has been something that I've relied on because I've needed him to do that. I've needed somebody strong who I could say, okay, I'm not feeling real strong today. Yeah. I need a little help walking. I'm a yeah. little unbalanced. Um, my emotions are a little off can you please be my anchor? Mm. And so that's what he's done for me. Mm. It's been great. Mm. I bring this up and no surprise, you, you know, many of us that saw the announcement today by Ellen, we have felt so much of what she feels because, you know, when you're breaking through the world, especially, you know, her and how much criticism she's taken, all of us, you know, look for that rock. And Pam, you just described it. Um, and David, I want to ask you this, because, you know, at the cornerstone of things, and I was really struck this morning, too, by the fact that, you know, Ellen openly talked about therapy, you know, mm. getting outside help. But I want to ask you about this, David, because, you know, spirituality, anybody that has ever taken a survey in this modern day, um, certainly is on the rise, but it means different things to different people. Mm -hmm. What has spirituality meant to you? individually, but also, you know, to both of you. Well, I think it's interesting because when we were preparing for this show, we knew the first two would be introductions, an introduction to Pam, and then an episode about uh, the introduction to my journey through spirituality. And really, before I met Pam, I had just started to kind of delve into things a little bit and be inspired by Native American spirituality and kind of start to wonder about it. But I never really thought of myself as a spirit being, as is, is the spirit flowing through me and that I had access to all of these energies and uh, inspirations all around me. So, I mean, it's night and day from before I met Pam to how I feel today. And it's interesting, it's even growing as we develop these, uh, the show. You know, and let's talk about the show. Um, you know, here we are full circle and we're honored to have you both um, on Transformation Talk Radio and the Transformation Network. You know, there's always a journey about that. You know, mm -hmm. this, some people think, well, you just wake up one day and this is what you do. And actually that <laughs> is the case for me. <laughs> that is my case. And so I help others not step into the potholes I've stepped into. Mm -hmm. um, but what was this journey like for you, Pam? And, you know, circling around to, to step into hosting the Empower Me show. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, <laughs> I've been on this journey, this transformation journey for a really long time. Uh, many, many, many years, over 20 years, uh, probably more like 30 years. Um, but it wasn't in really until I decided, actually made the commitment that I was going to be 100% of service to the God, the creator of my understanding. And I got ordained as a minister online, which I thought like, you can get certified online to be a minister. That's crazy. But what it did for me is that it got me into that place of really being available. Mm. 
Mm. being available to be of service. And I didn't really know yet about my soul's calling at that point, mm. but I knew that I was here to be of service. And that started the journey. And as I grew, and then as I had my near-death experience can came out of that, I knew it was time. It was time for me to go global. And I started talking about that. And mm. I really had no idea what that journey was going <laughs> to do for me. Um, then I just kept saying it and said, okay, well, I trust that my guides know exactly what they're doing. My guides are mm. impeccable at assistance. And so I moved into that place of trust and I trust them implicitly every single day of my life. Mm -hmm. And from there, I was able then to get some mentoring, get some coaches and teachers that would assist me in really opening to my soul's gifts fully. And then one day, I guess it was just a couple months ago. Yeah. I got a phone call. <laughs> I got an email first and then I got a phone call from Miss Jessica. And she uh -huh. said, you know, I think we have a place for you here on Transformation Talk Radio. I'm like, uh, uh okay, what does this mean? But you know what? Like everything else in my life, I just said yes. I said yes. And that commitment is what opened the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it's uh, for me when I think about this and I think about our journeys um, and I know what it's like to say yes and step into the world. We're going to take a short break. But when we come back, you know, we're going to talk about how we move that energy to the present moment of every day. Mm. You know, how we move that energy forward and how we do it despite the criticisms or the judgments or mm. the evaluations. Um, or whatever that is that happens, how do we stand uh, in the present fully empowered? When we come back, we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about the evolution of the Empower Me show. Mm -hmm. Where is it now? And where, where do both David and Pam have the vision for it? The vision for changing the world. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody, welcome back. It's so great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on. I'm introducing you to a brand new show on the Transformation uh, Network and Transformation Talk Radio. Uh, certainly, Pam Bright, David Buck joining me here today, you know, teaming up for the Empower Me show. And we're going to be talking about that today. Every, every yes in your life, every yes has a journey. Every yes, every no has a journey. Mm -hmm. It has a pathway. Um, it has an opening. Even when you say no to something, it is still an opening. And so you, you wonder sometimes, how do people show up? And just there they are. And there is a process each of us goes through when we make these decisions. But what happens if you know it's so right? What happens with that? And, you know, Pam... David, how do people find out about you? Let's make sure we get them information about you. What's the best way to do that? What's your website? My website is uh, brightbutterflyenterprises.com. Um, that is where you can find me. That's where you can find my services um, as a transformation coach and a light language channel. Um, I've got the program on there, 21 Days to Full Body Wellness um, on there as well. And it will be developing as time goes on. We also have the Empower Me show um, under radio show. So you can tune in to any episode on there as well as Transformation Talk Radio. I've been impressed that uh, just a simple Google search for the Empower Me show by itself, you could uh, put in with Pam Bright and it comes right up. Yeah. the Transformation Talk Radio. But if you want to get a hold of us, uh, you can reach both of us at uh, the Empower Me Show at gmail.com. Plus, we have a brand new website as of last night. It's called fullbodysystemwellness.com. And there's information about the program there too. 
Yeah, and you're right. I mean, that's part of the wonder of what we do is, you know, when you Google and put in Empower Me, you do come up. And, you know, what I love about this is every show and every message has tentacles out in the world. And that's what I want to talk with you both about now, because fast forward to where we are today, you know, we're talking about stepping out into a venue. You you knew somehow, Pam, you were going to step out into the venue, but you didn't <laughs> quite know it would be this way. So how is this working for you? I'm absolutely having a blast. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm having a blast. I, I said yes. And to all of you who are listening, please know that your commitment to the yes is going to absolutely blast open the doors for you. Mm -hmm. So the commitment to the yes is the first. And what's happened since that first show where I shared about my spiritual journey, um, mm -hmm. that gave a platform for, I believe for the entire show yeah. of <laughs> you're gonna get realness here. <laughs> we are not gonna hold back. Right. Um, <clears throat> I'm about transformation. I'm about authenticity in its fullness. And so every time that I come on camera, even if I may look like I'm not very comfortable, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually loving the experience, even in the discomfort of it. Mm. And that's mm. another message that I have around that is be in the discomfort and love it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a powerful message because, you know, we do a lot of shows and have done that for like a long time about wellness and you know, what it means to evolve and learn through spiritual growth and illness. But, you know, then we decide we're going to create something unique. Then, then the light bulb goes on. You know, it took me a couple of years for the light bulb to go on, you know, where I was able to say, well, wait a minute, this positive talk thing, it's just not unique to me. You know, mm -hmm. people really want to engage. They also want solutions. And by the way, millions of women are tapping back into this kind of podcast to this kind of media and then you start to think well what do we need to be what do we need to do to be of more service mm -hmm. and so david what is it that you've discovered and you want to create for the show well going forward we really hope that the empower me show will become a hub of information you know tools tips and techniques and ways to connect just beyond this, uh, the show, the Zoom, the podcast, the YouTube video, we've already begun uh, expanding in a bit. We have uh, Pinterest boards and YouTube playlists of music videos, and we've got a, a program available um, that really helps you go through some steps uh, for yourself and really engage. Um, so we love the opportunity to uh, to provide this information, but the point of it is to engage in the transformation of your own life. And hopefully you'll find what you haven't noticed before or uh, just haven't seen in the right light before. Another mm. thing that we, that we just um, are developing right now as well is it's called the Empower Me Game. Oh, yeah. And you can find that as a group on Facebook. Um, if you go to the Empower Me Game, you can actually sign up for that. It's a public group. Please join us and mm -hmm. take on your own game. There's a Google Doc in the description um, that will tell you about our idea with it. And it's really about you taking on your own empowerment. It's all mm. for you. Well, you know, I love this because a lot of times for a lot of years, the word empowerment wasn't associated with action. It was, mm. and you know, I mean, when you go back to the origins and the use of the word in corporate America and corporations around the world, and I think you both know this, you know, there was a point in time where it became that word and it was really pretty shallow for a lot of people because it didn't match, you know, the word didn't match the actions of mm. the organization. Yeah. And, you know, what we've learned is that empowerment is an inside job. Mm -hmm. right Absolutely. yeah and it starts there but you know you're also doing some other things with the show you know you have something in the first week of the month and then you have something in the second and you've really laid out a unique platform you know where did those ideas come from to really set this up so each 
show, so to speak, or each episode has a very specific meaning, teaching, and lesson. Well, David is going to take this one on because he's my he's my sidekick that does all the creation here. Well, it started with the fact that uh, when we had this opportunity, we knew that there were so many different ways we could go with it, so many different services that Pam might want to showcase and so many different aspects of her spiritual journey that she would want to provide as inspiration. So we had to kind of narrow it down a little bit and come up with these themes. And indeed, each week of the month is its own recurring monthly theme. And I've started uh, titling the episodes, episode one, episode two, episode three of that uh, section. So we have the first week of the month is the language of light. Uh, the second week of the month is choosing your empowered life. And I'm a co-host for that. Um, the third week of the month coming up next week is full body system wellness. And then the last week of the month uh, is spirit partners for life. When we, I'm co-host again, we talk about our journey. And I like the fact that someone coming onto the show, maybe three, six months from now can uh, um, latch on to one of these themes and be able to go through um, those episodes and really kind of deepen their appreciation for that topic. You know, uh, we have a lot to talk about, but I love really the underpinnings of this. And let's talk about this for a minute. Everything we're, we're, we're talking about so far is all interconnected. You mm -hmm. know, it's all part of, you know, the planning, of course, but it's all focused around that giant word, yes. So mm -hmm. let me ask you, Pam, what is it out of all of this that gets you fired up? <laughs> Well, it's, it's the big yes to being on purpose. <laughs> we hear that word a lot on purpose. What it really means to me is that our souls, my soul chose to be in this human body right now at this time in this place, Linwood, Washington <laughs> for this time period. Right. Yeah. And my soul didn't just get dropped here. My human self didn't just get dropped here. Mm -hmm. I had a reason for coming. So I check in with my soul and ask my soul, what is it that you're here to do? And that's why I'm here talking to you. That's why I'm here with my partner, David. Mm -hmm. That's why we're doing the show. That's why the big yes is there because mm -hmm. that is most important to me above anything else is living out my soul's purpose of being alive. Yeah. Wow. Um, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the future. We're going to talk about the vision. You know, I started opening this up with Ellen and many people are thinking, what's Ellen going to do? Now, when you're somebody that has a purpose and you have a vision like Pam and David, when you are on track with that, there's something that happens to how you see the future. There's something that just opens up for all of you that stand in your yes. Mm -hmm. Even if your yes is to end something, there is something in the future that just calls you forward. What is it for you all out there? What is mm -hmm. calling you forward? Mm -hmm. What is it that's inspiring you in the moment? When we come back, we're going to be talking with David and Pam about all this hard work they're doing, all this beautiful, beautiful things they're putting in a platform to really raise consciousness and vibration. And you would think, okay, they're pretty much done, they're not. When we come back, we're gonna talk about the future, we're gonna talk about the vision, and you know, we're gonna talk about what it is that allows us each to expand. Whether it's a technology that you really didn't know you could develop, or it's a heart-centered platform called The Empower Me Show. Let's mm. take a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to The Dr. Pat Show with me. I'm Dr. Pat. For more information about me and the shows I do, certainly you can go to The Dr. Pat Show. But... You know, tonight at four, tune in on Transformation Talk Radio for the Psychic and the Doc. That's where I hang out with the psychic lawyer, Mark Anthony. I never thought in a million years I'd be doing a show like that. But as David says, 
we're living in a world today of expansive vision and, you know, taking action on our passion and doing things that maybe, as Pam said, maybe a little bit uncomfortable sitting there, but you do it. Um, Pam, David, thank you for joining us here today. We're going to talk about this future, but before we do, please let folks know how to find out about you. And again, tell them about that Empower Me game. Well, uh, you can find uh, us at www.brightbutterflyenterprises.com. We have a brand new website called fullbodysystemwellness.com. You can email us at the Empower Me Show at gmail.com. And indeed, we have a brand new Empower Me game that has its own uh, public uh, Facebook group. And the idea behind this, it's just eight simple steps. Uh, you, you've encountered these kinds of things and it's been inspired by a hundred different uh, influences. Um, and it's just some simple steps. And we're introducing one step a week. We, this week we introduced just the first step is to pick a goal. Uh, pick something that you feel like you can achieve. Um, and uh, so each week that goes by, we're going to talk for a couple of minutes about it. And the whole eight step process and a little bit of the background of it and what you can do with it, including a, a tiny template for it is on the Facebook group as well. I love it. I love it. Because what I love about this is, you know, the opening that you're creating for people and it doesn't matter what you pick. Really, it doesn't matter what you pick. I mean, you know, I woke up this morning uh, after a full, let's talk about the future for a minute. I don't know if you know I moved. Uh, I think you could see I've still got things here in my background that I'm trying to work out. But I moved and I thought it would be a simple process. I had a vision for it. And what I didn't realize about the vision that I had for it was that it was going to take some time, mm -hmm. that I wasn't just recreating the old. I was creating a new home. Mm -hmm. You know, I had things here I didn't have you know, a backyard that needs grass cut. Mm. Whoa. Um, thinking about doing some planting and making it beautiful. And then all of a sudden you wake up this morning and there is a rabbit out in the front yard eating whatever flowers did pop up. And it is about the size of a dog. And I'm yeah. thinking, what do we do with it? So let's talk about the future. Let's talk about the vision, but let's also talk about what happens when we see a little hiccup or a blip in the matrix. Mm. Let's talk about that future, David and Pam. <laughs> well, I, I'm going to I'm going to tell a little bit about the back end here. With uh, was it last? It was last year. Oh my gosh! It was just last year when we decided that we were going to take on Zoom. Okay, and oh yeah, for any of you who are out there that are taking <laughs> on Zoom for the first time, yeah. you're going to have some challenges oh. with how to set it up, is the, is the sound right, you know, uh, making sure that all the ducks are in a row with that. And so we took, we didn't just take Zoom on, but we took on creating our own program. What, how are we doing that, right? So that was last year, step forward into now. And David is my, is my guy on this end to do all of the electrical stuff for getting the Zoom set up again and getting the show set up again. So he ste stepped into his yes mm -hmm. so that I could be present in my being of showing up fully. And he, from that point of view, was able to then step into his being in his fullness. So what do you want to share with that? Well, I think it's all about willingness because this is the fifth time we've appeared on Transformation Talk Radio. And it's been a little bit of a journey. We've had blips uh, um, that have set us back uh, nearly every time and it's getting more smooth. So it's a willingness to learn. It's a willingness to continue to say yes. It's a willingness to be wrong about something mm -hmm. and willingness to compromise too. Yeah, it's really about be allowing ourselves to be imperfect, Yeah. right? being yeah. imperfect in our perfection as human beings. Yeah. You know, there's no question about that. I, I mean, I think I learned that lesson early on as somebody entering a venue that, who, that I, I didn't know anything about it. I mean, I really didn't. I didn't even know what I was doing. I just know that this felt like breathing to me. First time I got behind a microphone, it felt like breathing. And it was so unusual for me because people know me as quite the introvert. I'm very high on the introvert scale. 
Um, I also grew up stuttering. So the people from the East Coast, you know, back at Plainfield High School that I grew up with, they're like, you can't be talking for a living. That just can't be <laughs> happening. Are you kidding? It took you 10 minutes to answer a question. So, you know, it's fascinating to see how our future lights us up inside. And, you know, this is about the audience for me. And it's mm -hmm. got to be about the audience for you. We have yeah. the best audience on the planet. I have been saying that forever. Mm -hmm. They are the best. The other day, I had a caller call into a show I did with Megan. And both Megan and I really got schooled in a very professional way, mm -hmm. in a very kind way, a new level of awareness from our listeners. So mm -hmm. what excites you so far about your audience? Mm. Well, I can tell you that I've had some I've had some people already contact me from hearing the show, wow. uh, which I got very excited oh, about. Um, I have a new client. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, he's decided that he's going to work with me. Um, I have an, a friend that heard me on, on Transformation Talk Radio on the Empower Me show and contacted me and said, oh my gosh, it's you. This is a friend that mm. I haven't heard from or talked to in about 30 years. Wow. And I didn't even know where she was. And I kept calling out to the universe saying, I know you're out there. Find her for me. If we're supposed to be connected, find her for me. Mm -hmm. And she found me. <laughs> and so you, we're reconnected. Oh, yeah. You know, both of you, David, it's so because I know, David, you have asked us a million questions. And we so thank you for that. <laughs> But we always get that question about, well, if we join your network, what's going to happen for me? What can I expect? And we never know an answer. We, <laughs> we cannot answer for a particular person. Yeah. We can only say what has happened for others. Yeah. I mean, and, in, you know, in your case, you had put a sufficient amount of time in this. You built up that inner momentum and energy for your show. You have been able to show your gifts, your talents. And boy, I just love you too. I mean, mm. people ask me, what does it take to create the kind of show that you really want to create, to really have something that energizes, builds an audience? And boy, I'm going to send them to David because <laughs> this, is, this is how it goes. You don't just sign up for a show. You think about your future. You think mm -hmm. about how you're going to engage with the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and that is the most successful element I have found is thinking about what you can do for your audience. Yeah. I'm going to skip this next break because I want to continue to talk with you about one of the leading factors for me in a 17 year period, 11 year period with the network that without it, without it and learning the understanding of it, none of us would be here today. And Pam, I think, and David, it's this notion of being a spiritual being, having a human experience. Mm. And I can tell you that the times in my life where I have behaved less than a spiritual being, it has been ugly. Mm. So I'm reminded, yeah. what does that mean to you? Because that is a cornerstone value in what you do, isn't it? It is. Mm -hmm. It is. So the turning point for me was when I was graced with <laughs> the ability to, in my spiritual essence of my soul, to decide whether I was going to come back to earth and remain human and fulfill on this lifetime of my soul's purpose, or if I was going to remain with the angelic realm. <sighs> That was the turning point. Mm -hmm. Wow. And my soul said yes to returning because I was told that I had a specific mission that had not been fulfilled yet. Mm. And the other piece of that is that I did not know that my soul partner mm. was holding the anchor for me <laughs> to return. He was my knight in shining armor with his flame of truth saying, I love this woman and I'm going to stand by her no matter what. Mm -hmm. And he allowed me 
to come back into this vessel called a human being and fulfill on that soul's mission. So it's got to be the two together. Yeah. I cannot ignore my physical body and hope that my spiritual essence is just going to soar. It's got to be the two together. Yeah. You know, when I think about this and I think about sort of the essence of what we're talking about today, I'm reminded about the pandemic. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I don't talk about it often, but I, I have decided I am going to talk about what it was like for us, my team here, this network, uh, to get through the pandemic. I mean, it is something that's important to talk about. And what we learned from it and what the current, what really became really the, the, the bedrock of what we learned during the pandemic that is now the foundation, pandemic or no pandemic, how we move forward. But you went through the pandemic as well. So let us talk about pandemic shut down everything a year ago. What did you do? Well, the, one of the first things we, do, we did was ask ourselves, what's happening and in some ways we're still asking that question i think a lot of people are too and and so but we've done so much growth on our on our own spiritual selves and in our relationship we knew we had to do something different and we needed to respond in kind of a spiritual way so we started by creating this program uh 21 day full body system wellness program based on a bunch of ideas, but one of them is it takes 21 days to uh, change a habit or to build a new habit. It's a common uh, thought, uh, although I looked it up the other day and it said it takes between three and 367 days to, to build a new <laughs> habit. So it's different for everybody. Um, and so, you know, we all have coping mechanisms until we recognize that they're really kind of soul purpose mechanisms and we can shift that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So when it, when the pandemic hit, I was working full-time as a massage therapist and our spa shut down and we didn't, we were left as many of us were with, okay, I'm working a job. My job is not allowing me to come back in right now. What are we going to do? Help. And so that's when I knew that something drastic and different and changing was happening. Mm -hmm. And so I immediately went, did what I have been taught to do from my guides, which is to go up, <laughs> expand and ask for help. And so that's another cornerstone of my work is asking yeah. for your support team to help you. Yeah. And that's well, what I did. It's so important to ask for the support team. You know, one of the things also um, in this journey, and, and this is really important, you know, when you use terms like shut down, everything shut down, because it did, you know, you had to get highly creative and innovative. And that's what I hear you say. We had to do the same. You know, as the owner of the company and the owner of the network, I had to figure out how do I keep my staff employed? Mm. And yet, we're, we're asking staff to do things now they've never done before. And, you know, we work in an environment where it would be shocking for a team member to say something like, that's not my job, or that's mm -hmm. not your job. It would be mm -hmm. shocking for us. And you know, the amount of service we provide. Oh, yeah. And so the team here, and the way they've stepped up, and the way they were going to have to step up in the future as we launch our technology. I mean, Kim works on weekends. I don't yeah. know if you've ever gotten an email from Kim. Mm -hmm. Linda picks up that phone. It doesn't matter what part of the country you're from. You, yeah. you know, we get calls at five in the morning from the East Coast and we pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. Jessica does a daily check-in as she drives into the studio every day. Yeah. You know, our, our networks we're on, the one that we're on now has worked with us to keep us on air. But here's the yeah. lesson I've learned. People <laughs> it, that have supported us, yeah. we have to remember to support them back. Yes. Yeah. You know, this particular network that I'm on, you know, if you have financial commitments to people, even in a pandemic, 
$100 may be energetically important to do. Mm -hmm. But in the end, Pam, as you said, we have to check in with ourselves and our own soul and say, what's in integrity for me? Mm -hmm. How are you both doing your own check-ins? Because it is called Empower Me Show. Yes. Well, I can say (laughs) that you know, there's a couple of statements in my life that have been particularly challenging to me. Like, how could that be true? One of the <laughs> old ones from many years ago is God never gives you more than you can handle. That's And one. it sure seems like that's not true a lot of the time. And it may seem like that for many people right now in the pandemic. The other one I was introduced to by Pam, who said, it's all in divine right order. And it's the concept of divine timing that it goes beyond things happen for a reason when they happen. It's, it's getting into the flow of the universe. Like right now, whatever your circumstances are, they're the perfect ones for you, whether it's the worst day of your life or the best day of your life. Yep. And you always, always, always have the massive amount of support that's always available to you. Yeah. Whether it's a human being, a book, a song, your cat, or, or praying to a God that you don't really understand yet. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's all there. It's all here for us. Just allow it to happen and unfold. Yeah. Um, I know we've got a few minutes left here. And um, what's important to is to continue for us to talk about the journey. But what's also important is for us to look at how important creativity and innovation is. Mm. Um, You know, earlier I mentioned to you both that about Ellen, her show became highly innovative, highly creative, highly fun. You know, she should have done an empower me game that would have made it better. Um, (laughs) but, But these ideas of innovation without action just become something that operate in our heads right? And I talked about how grateful I am. I mean, geez, if you ever listen to Heather teach Jessica, and by the way, this is something we're going to get back and do. If, If you ever walked into the room, which was in a small room in my house, this is really a garage starting network. This is literally how this happened, right? Nice. And you listen to Heather, who was ex military, have a Jessica coming right out of school, like what, like 20 something, maybe not even. And you sit down and you hear Heather say, if you don't learn this schedule, the Empower Me show won't play. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drill you till you learn it. So I want to ask you this in these last minutes, perspiration, inspiration, What's your message for the world in creating Empower Me people? So, David, there's a chance always to get into stagnation. And, <laughs> and, and it's different than stillness. Stillness it, through meditation can offer inspiration. But so easy to sit more on the couch and not get back up from the couch. And so everybody's got a great idea. Uh, I'm struck by a couple of uh, quick quotes. Um, uh, One's from Goethe. Whatever you can do or dream, begin it, because uh, boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. And um, the the late, great Wayne Dyer, I was inspired by his quote of saying, um, uh, what was it? Wow, now (laughs) I... Whatever you look at, well, whatever you, whatever you look at, um, when you change the way you look at things, the right. things you look at change. There you yeah. go. But he also said, don't die with your music still in you. That's right. And wow. that is why I do a Language of Light episode. Thank you very much. <laughs> is because that is a huge part of my mission here, is to shift who you are being in the world through my voice and through the codes that are coming through me to you. It is my privilege to do that. Yeah. Wow. I want to thank you both for today. 
before we hop off, um, please let everybody know one more time what you're creating on Facebook or social media. Tell them about your shows and how they can work with you directly. So you can reach us at the empower me show at gmail.com. You can go to my website, which is bright butterfly enterprises. That's B R I G H T B U T T E R F L Y enterprises.com. Or you can find us on Facebook at the empower me game group. And you can interact with us. You can interact with each other. Tell people about your what you're taking on in the world as a game. Mm -hmm. You can also email us at theempowermeshow at gmail.com. And we have a brand new website called fullbodysystemwellness.com. We'll be introducing that uh, idea next week. Well, I want to thank you. Thank you both. And really quickly, what's your personal message? What do you want to leave us with David and then Pam? So it's, it's the inspiration is there. It's, it's all the parts of you that have died uh, somewhere inside. You can uh, reawaken them. You can live the life that you imagined living mm. uh, 20, 30, 40 years ago, because we need you to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do need you to do that. And what I would say is, it doesn't matter where you are right now. Right now is your magic moment. Say yes to yourself. I, we will help you every step of the way. Mm -hmm. And we're both personal coaches, so we can assist you with that. I will help you energetically with getting you past the big bumps that you're facing. Mm -hmm. We are available to you as mm -hmm. your support. I want to thank you a thousand percent. I want to thank you both looking forward for all that you are doing. Thank you both for the show, but thank you more importantly for who you are and how you're showing up in the world. Well, mm. Thank you very much for having us here on your show today. And your team is amazing, by the way. Yes, they are. We and are I want privileged. To thank yeah. Thank you. They are amazing. You're right. And I want to thank everybody today for pushing all the right buttons, for pushing out the live stream video of this. And truly to all of you tuning in, we will see you again next time with the Dr. Pat show, but stay tuned. We've got another super, super hour of one of our other hosts showing up because we are a network of transformative thought leaders. We'll see you next time. <laughs>